What is your name? My name is Rick. And what do you do at Moku Surf Shop? Uh, surf instructor. How long have you been surf instructing? For over 25 years. 25 years. Besides getting your customer to stand up, what's one of your main goals you want them to walk away with? A uh, better understanding of the ocean and how it works and uh, more of a love and a respect for the ocean, you know? A little bit about the history of surfing and it's a big part of the culture that I'm Hawaii. So I try to share all that with them. Um, what kind of history of surfing? So, briefly, briefly. hundreds of years ago, apparently it was reserved only for the elite, which are the chiefs of the royal, the royalty. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward many years, now everyone can do it, mm -hmm. and that's that's the gist of it. But but it's it's a big part of the culture here. Apparently, this is where it started. So, Roger. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the toughest time you've had with a student. Time? You mean like? them being able to get up yeah. or just them how, how, how did you relate to your student to get them oh what was okay. that how did you get them to get okay. up after so, a tough time it, it could have been one of two things either they're not mentally uh, confident enough to be able to get up and do it or maybe they are not quite as flexible or confident in themselves something like that to be able to actually get up but it's a very small percentage of people over the years that I haven't been able to get up mm -hmm. so when you do it for as long as I have it longer, or maybe not even that long, half the time, whatever. Um, you can get most people up, you know, with certain steps. And there's not only one way to do it. I would never say my way is the only way or the best way. Right. You know, it, it really depends on the individual. So then, what's your go-to way to try to connect with them? Uh, okay, so before we get onto the water, I explain to them during a land demo, right? And we go over the safety rules and of course how to paddle, how to stand up and stand on the board and ride the wave. Uh, I try to connect with them through the land demo first by uh, educating them about how the water works. And the most important thing is safety. If you're not a surfer, you don't understand how the ocean works, then I really emphasize safety because there's it's so fun to ride a wave and to surf, but there's always potential for danger, especially in a crowded place like Waikiki out here where there's a lot of other people in the water. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Shoot. Sure. Right.